There we go. waiting for a few people to pop on all right so sorry that my live is late um, for our sensory Sunday setup but I'm just gonna do a really quick live right now because I have to leave the house right away but um, I wanted to get our sensory Sunday video done so um, Xander really loves slime so we are trying out this chia seed slime and here he comes um yeah so we're gonna be making some chia seed slime today <laughs> um hello mister so right here i have oh i guess you'll find out mommy's doing a video right now for everybody to learn what it is and learn how to make it yeah, yeah. i like it so much you like it? It's so much fun. Okay, you're shaking. Can you stop shaking the table for Mama? I'm my stool. Okay, thank you. So basically, this is an activity that you're going to have to set up the night before, um, or at least a few hours before, because the chia seeds need to sit um, and soak up the water so they get all jelly-like. If you've um, eaten chia seeds before, you know that um, if they sit in liquid and they get really jelly. So, um, I of course did not set this up the night before. I did it this morning. We woke up at 6.30. Yay! So early. Um, and now it is 9.30. So they've been sitting for about three hours in the fridge, um, in water and they are quite jelly. So I feel like they are ready for this activity. Um, but you can put them overnight overnight as well. So all I did was I took two tablespoons of chia seeds and I mixed them with one cup. Oh my gosh, this is going to happen again, isn't it? And I mixed them with one cup of water. So two tablespoons of chia seeds, one cup of water. And then I put them in the fridge. You can also add food coloring, which I have. And you can see that they are a little bit blue because I added blue food coloring. So once they have been sitting in the fridge and they start to get jelly, then all you're going to do is you need some cornstarch. Um, I think in the UK you might call this corn flour. Um, same thing. Yeah. Um, this is edible, but it's not going to taste good. So that's the other thing. This is an edible recipe. Obviously chia seeds you can eat, cornstarch you can eat. Um, but it's not going to taste good. But if you were doing this with your child who is maybe um, 11 months, like Arden, or um, 12, 13 months, um, and they put some in their mouth, it's fine because it's edible. So I'm going to put one cup, please stop shaking. I'm going to put one cup of cornstarch in here. Um, this is half a cup, so I'm going to start with half a cup. Um, and mix that first. Oh, Lordy. I keep forgetting to put the notifications on silent when I do these videos. So there, I put half a cup in. I'm just going to stir it a little bit first. Just so that it mixes. Woo, I'm making a mess. Woo! My mom's texting me. It's a good time, Mom. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, mom, please. This, my mom is texting me. She's probably going to watch this video when I share it. And she's texting me about bingo tonight. We play TV bingo on Saturdays. Ooh, it's so nice. Ooh, it looks cool. Hey. Okay, so now I'm going to add the other cup. I'm not being so precise. I'm kind of adding it. Um... You might need to add an extra half a cup of water, depending on how it is. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it kind of is a little bit of an experiment, as slime always is. Oh my gosh, I am messy today. So, just let me mix a little bit more, and then I'll show you what it's starting to look like. It does look really neat. We have never actually done this before. Um, so this is the first time we actually have just like a container of slime that Xander's older sister has given him. Um, and he's always playing with that. That's slime, Mom? 
Yeah, this is a different kind of slime, babe. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, you're gonna play with this with your hands. So much fun to get all dirty and you have to wash your hands. Da, 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 da. Yes. No. No. You can play a bowl. Yeah, we're gonna put it in a bowl. So here you can see it's starting to come together. This way? Almost. I actually think I'm going to add just a touch more cornstarch because I have spilled oh, some. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I just look in this. You're, yeah, you're looking at that? I do want it to be a little less runny than it is right now. But if you find that when you're mixing it, it's too thick, then of course add some more water. More water? No, we don't need more water. Mommy wants to add more cornstarch because I think it's a little too runny for my liking. Okay. Mommy's going to see how messy it is before I let you play with it, though. Okay. Is they here with me? And if you have played with slime before, it is a messy activity, but it's fun. Uh, I still think I don't like it this messy. So I've probably added just over a cup um, of cornstarch now to mine, but again, it all depends on how long <sighs> it all depends on how long you let the chia seeds sit. If they sit overnight, they're going to be way more jelly, and this will work out way better. So you might not need as much cornstarch or corn flour if you're in the UK. All right, I feel a bit better with this. So here we go. This is slime, baby. So here's our slime. Ooh, chia seed slime. Nice and messy. Oh my gosh, these notifications. I, I almost need to put a reminder in my phone to remember to turn them off. But here we go. So, ooh, a chia seed slime. This will be a very messy activity for the kids to play with. Um, something that you'll want to keep in the bin. <laughs> or in an area where they can get messy. But here it is. My hands dirty. Yeah, my hands are very dirty. And now I'm going to have to try and turn off my phone. So yeah, give it a try. I'll remind you of the recipe one more time. And I will be posting it tomorrow when I post this activity that we've done. Um, it's two tablespoons of chia seeds with one cup of water. Put them in the fridge overnight or at least for like two to three hours hey, until they get really jelly. I will wash my hands, babe. Um, until they get really jelly, and then you're going to add about one cup of cornstarch, maybe a little bit more, depending on how sticky and gooey it is. You can decide Ooh, how. Yeah. Okay, hold on. You can decide how gooey you want it to be, but here it is with just about one cup of cornstarch. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Tag me in your posts because I love to see when you've tried activities that I've done. And uh, I hope it goes well. Have a good Saturday, everybody.